Now to uh, Tisonan's incredible story of survival. Almost two months ago, he was shot multiple times by a gunman on the bus when traveling through Northern California. Tonight, he's sharing his shocking experience as he continues his long road to recovery. News for Tucson's Eric Fink is live in Midtown with more. Eric. Yeah, Sean, this Tucsonan was one of five victims shot on that bus. One person died, and the man you're about to meet, he was hit eight times that night. He is now paralyzed, and tonight he is opening up about what happened as his actions on that bus likely saved lives. I get to about three steps before the stairs, and my legs just give out, and I'm just laying there like bleeding my legs flipped all the way around upside down and i see somebody walk by and i just asked him, i was like will you grab my arms drag me off this bus please because if he walks by me he's gonna kill me tucson's robert farber recalls the night of february 2nd when a gunman opened fire on the greyhound bus farber was on in oroville california a little more than an hour north of sacramento according to witness statements from that night the gunman identified as 21 year old Asid coleman was a passenger on the bus. Witnesses say he appeared paranoid and agitated. Just before the shooting, police say he showed some passengers a gun he had in his bag. Then when the bus stopped in Oroville, passengers began getting off and shots rang out. I lost my spleen, my appendix, my gallbladder, a little bit of my intestines. I have an ileostomy bag now that I have to go to the restroom in pretty much. Farber, a father of four, is now paralyzed from the waist down. He says when it happened, he used his body to shield two children from the bullets. I don't know. I just reacted. To be honest with you, I wasn't really thinking about it. You know, but if those were my kids, I would want somebody to do the same thing. He is now about six weeks into rehab. Well, I, I won't sugarcoat things. When I first woke up, I was like, why? You know, for a few weeks or maybe just a week because it was they made me start my physical therapy like the second day after all that surgery and it hurts so bad. I just wanted to lay there. But as the days progress, like I'm getting better and better and I'm not taking the little things for granted, like just being able to put my own shoes and socks on or wiggle my toes. Farber says doctors found bleeding in his spine to the point where they may have to do surgery. He says he is making a lot of progress now he can even move one of his legs, he says. The 21-year-old suspect, Ashid Coleman, who shot Farber and four others, or who's accused of shooting Farber and four others, I should say, is due back in a California courtroom next Wednesday. We're live in Midtown tonight. I'm Eric Fink, News 4, Tucson.